Hi guys! So, we already learned about Reynolds number in our previous video. Nakapag-solve na rin tayo ng ilang practice problem involving Reynolds number. Well, this time, we will have another practice problem wherein we're going to apply what we learned in our previous video about Reynolds number. However, hindi lang tayo basta magsosolve ng Reynolds number ngayon. We're going to apply the other lectures that we learned previously. So, particularly on how to use our table in McCabe and Smith and Paris Chemical Engineers Handbook in how to determine the viscosity of liquids and also how to determine the inside diameter and inside cross-sectional area of our pipe given its schedule number. Okay, so yeah, apply natin lahat ng mga natutunan natin previously in solving this problem. So, maganda ito guys because makikita natin dito kung paano pinagsasama-sama yung mga previous video natin in one single problem. Okay, so simulan na natin. So, we have a figure right here and we need to determine first the Reynolds number. Then next, we need to determine if the flow is laminar or turbulent. And finally, given naman ang ating Reynolds number, then we need to calculate the velocity of a fluid. Okay? So, we have a given information here. So, this is our pipe. And this is a 2 inches Schedule 80 pipe. And the liquid flowing to our pipe is 40% ethanol solution, having a mass flow rate of 2.5 pounds per second, and a temperature 32 degrees Celsius. And given din yung specific gravity of pure ethanol, which is 0 0.5. 79. Okay, so first we need to determine the Reynolds number. So as you can see, meron na tayo ditong given table. I already pulled out the appendix 5 from unit operation by McKibben Smith wherein you can find the schedule number of the 5 and its corresponding inside diameter and inside sectional area. So we're going to use this later on. But first, let us try to solve our requirement. We need to find the Reynolds number of our liquid. Okay, so first requirement is to find the Reynolds number. Okay, so we already know the equation for the Reynolds number. We have NRE is equal to rho dv over mu. So ulitin lang natin. This is the Reynolds number. This is the density of our fluid, the inside diameter of the pipe, the velocity of our fluid, and the viscosity of our fluid. Alright, so at this point, kung makikita natin, what is given is the specific gravity of pure ethanol. So right now, we cannot use that in here sa ating density because our Liquid flowing here is 40% ethanol, hindi siya pure ethanol, okay? But of course, using this given, we can find the density of 40% ethanol, but we're going to do that later. What we will be using now is itong mass flow rate natin, which is 2.5 pounds per second. Because if you remember in our previous lecture about the basic equations in fluid flow, I actually mentioned there about the mass velocity. Well, actually, we learned from that video that the mass flow rate is actually equal to the density of the fluid times the velocity of the fluid and the area, right? If you could recall this equation. Now, if I'm going to transpose our area dito sa left side ng ating equation, we will actually have our density times the velocity of our fluid and this will be equal to the mass flow rate over the area of our conduit. And ito yung sinabi natin sa ating previous video as equivalent to G, okay, if you could recall, which is the mass velocity ng ating fluid. And you can actually find this as equation 4.8 in McCabe and Smith. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo siyang ma-review, just go to equation 4.8 sa ating McCabe and Smith. Makikita na ninyo how they derive 
itong ating mass velocity. Okay? So, you call this the mass velocity. Okay, so given that, so may kita natin dito, meron tayong density times velocity. So in here, density times velocity, so that means we can substitute our g from that, you know. Kasi given yung ating mass velocity, pero hindi given yung velocity ng ating liquid, diba? So therefore, pwede natin i-substitute yan para magamit natin yung equation. So we will have the Reynolds number is equal to the inside diameter of the conduit times the mass velocity over the viscosity of our fluid. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin natin na equation to solve for our Reynolds number. Okay, so kailangan lang ma-identify na natin kung ano ba yung mga values nito. No? So unahin natin kunin is yung inside diameter ng ating pipe. Okay, so let me write that here. Inside diameter of the pipe. So, ito yung unang hahanapin natin. So, alam natin that our pipe is 2 inches schedule 80 pipe. No? So, we have 2 inches schedule 80 pipe. Alright. So, e dito natin gagamitin yung appendix 5 from unit operation by McCabin Smith. So, nasan dito yung ating 2 inches schedule 80 pipe. So, this is the 2 inches nominal pipe size. No? So, ito yung kailangan natin tignan because yung susunod is 2 and a half na. No? So, dito tayo sa 2 inches nominal pipe size. And then, schedule number natin is 80. No? Sabi nga dito, schedule 80 siya. So, ito yung schedule 80. So, therefore, itong mga nasa linya na to yung gagamitin natin. No? So, let me... Put a line para makita natin. Okay? So, itong mga nandito sa line na to, yun yung mga gagamitin natin sa paghanap ng ating mga kailangan na dimension. Ano? So, unahin natin is yung diameter, no? Inside diameter ng ating pipe. So, uh, diameter. Okay? So, inside diameter ng ating pipe. It will be here. So, you have here the inside diameter, no? Dito, ito yung ating inside diameter. So, dito natin siya titignan sa column na yan. So, since nandito tayo sa schedule 80, so therefore, ito yung ating inside diameter ng pipe. So, the inside diameter of our pipe is equal to 1.939 inches. No? Inches yung ating unit dito. Makikita nyo naman yan dito. Yan. Now, sunod na kailangan nating makuha is yung... Uh, cross-section area, area natin. No? So, itong inside cross-section area because gagamitin natin yan para makuha yung G. Okay? So, area, okay, yung inside area natin dito. So, nandito pa rin tayo sa 2 inches schedule 85. So, that means we need this unit or value here. Okay? So, ang ating area is equal to 0 0.02050 feet squared. Okay? So, using that, makukuha na natin yung ating G. Okay? So, our G, which is equal to the mass flow rate over the area, is equal to, so, ano yung ating mass flow rate? We have um, 2.5, dama ba? Yeah, 2.5 pounds per second. So, 2.5 pounds per second divided by our area which is 0 0.0205 feet squared no so let us try to solve for that para magkaroon na tayo ng value ng g all right so using our calculator we have 2.5 divided by 0 0.0205 so we have 121.95 no 100 21.95 and ang unit natin is pound per feet squared second. No? So, meron na tayong value ng G. No? So, as you can see dito sa ating formula ng Reynolds number, alam na natin yung value ng G at alam na rin natin yung inside diameter. So, ang hindi na lang natin alam is yung viscosity ng ating liquid in which ang given natin is 40% ethanol at 32 degree Celsius. Okay, so dito natin gagamitin 
yung Appendix 9 from Unit Operation by McCabe and Smith. So, pinaliwanag natin ito kung paano gamitin to in our previous video. No? So, hanapin lang ninyo sa aming YouTube channel yung Finding the Viscosity of Liquids using McCabe and Smith and the Paris Handbook. Okay, so, may pinaliwanag namin doon kung paano gamitin ito no, in details. But, of course, gagamitin natin siya rito. So, may kita na rin natin dito kung paano siya actually gamitin. So, tulad ng sinabi ko, ang liquid natin is 40% ethanol at 32 degree Celsius. So, isulat nga natin dito para hindi natin makalimutan. So, we have 40% ethanol. And our temperature is 32 degree Celsius, no? So, ito yung table natin sa Appendix 9 ng McCabin Smith, no? So, kukunin lang natin yung kailangan nating value dito. So, our liquid is 40% ethanol. So, ito yon. So, that means ito yung mga gagamitin nating coordinates. Okay? So, for our X coordinate, we have... Um, 6.5, so it will be somewhere here, no? 6.5. Para naman sa ating Y coordinate, we have 16.6, .6, so it will be somewhere here. Okay? So, katulad nung ginawa natin last time, ang kailangan lang natin gawin dito is to extend itong ating mga uh, coordinates, no? For our Y coordinate, we will extend that papunta rito sa ating x coordinate. So kailangan may determine lang natin kung saan sila magmi-meet, no. Okay, so next extend naman natin itong ating x coordinate. So tataas lang natin siya ng paunti-unti. Okay. So dahil wala tayong ruler, so medyo meron tayong uh, medyo error dito, no. Pero ganito lang naman yung procedure niyan, guys. So now I'm going to mark itong intersection nila kung saan sila nag-meet, no? So, dito tayo nag-intersect. Ngayon, sabi natin, our temperature is at 32 degrees Celsius. So, this is 35. So, it will be somewhere here, no? Okay. So, now, we are going to connect itong ating temperature dito sa ating intersection ng X and Y coordinate. And we're going to extend that papunta rito sa ating viscosity para makuha natin kung ano yung value niya, no? So, let us do that. So, starting from our temperature, which is 32. So, dito siya banda. Then, tatama siya dito sa ating intersection. Then, we're going to extend that papunta dito sa ating viscosity, no? So, this is our value here. So, ito ngayon yung ating viscosity. Itong point na to. So, as you can see, this is about 2 to 2.1 centipoise, okay? So, yan yung value ng ating viscosity. So, we have here, so let's say, dahil meron tayo ditong error, no? Hindi natin na-straight yan dahil wala tayong ruler. So, let us use um, for our viscosity is equal to 2.1 centipoise, no? So, yan na yung gagamitin natin. So, again, gamitin natin yung ating uh, equation for the Reynolds number. So, sabi natin, we have here the inside diameter times our mass velocity g over our viscosity no so now substitute na natin yung mga nakuha nating value for our inside diameter we have 1.939 inches no so 1.939 inches for the inside diameter and then for our Mass velocity, nakuha na rin natin yung value ng G, which is 121.95 pounds per feet squared per second. No? So, we're going to multiply this to 121.95 pounds per feet squared per second. Okay? And then, we're going to divide that to our viscosity, which is 2.1 centipoise. Alright, so dapat consistent yung ating mga units, no? So, we have inches here and we have feet squared here. So, convert lang natin yan into feet, no? So, for every one foot 
we have 12 inches. Alright, so now we need to convert itong ating 2.1 centipoise into pounds per feet per seconds. Now, for every 1 centipoise, we have 6.7197 times 10 to the negative 4 pound per feet second. No? So, this is just a conversion, guys, no? para makita natin yung mga units natin. So, let us check yung ating mga units. So, we have inches. This will be cancelled out. Um, our pound will be cancelled out. Our centipoise will be cancelled out. Yung time natin, second will be cancelled out. And then, feet squared here, then feet and feet. So, this will be cancelled out. No? So, sa lahat ng units natin, are cancelled out. So, makukuha na natin yung ating Reynolds number. So, our NRE is equal to, let us use our calculator again. So, let us see. We have 1.939 times 121.95 then divided by 12 then divided by 2.1 and again, divided by 6.7197 exponent um, negative 4. No? So, negative 4. So, we have 13,963. No? So, 13,963. 0.98 ba yan? 0.98, yes. 0.98. Alright, so nakuha na natin yung ating Reynolds number which is our first requirement, no? Nakuha na natin. But our second requirement is to determine if it is a laminar or turbulent flow. And as you can see dito sa nakuha natin, our Reynolds number which is equal to 13,963.98 is greater than 4,000, no? So, therefore, we have a turbulent flow. Right? So, yun yung second requirement natin. We already determined yung flow ng ating fluid. Now, how about for our third requirement? Okay, so given naman dito yung Reynolds number natin, di ba? Our Reynolds number is equal to 2,100 and we need to calculate the velocity of the fluid. Okay, so sulat muna natin. Our Reynolds number is equal to 2,100 and we need to determine the velocity. So, okay, so ang kailangan naman natin dito is makuha yung velocity. Okay, so balik tayo sa ating formula ng Reynolds number. So, we have rho dv over mu. So, alam na natin yung um, inside diameter. Alam din natin yung viscosity ng ating fluid. Pero, hindi natin alam itong density. No? But, alam na rin natin yung Reynolds number given na siya rito. So, kailangan natin makuha is yung velocity. So, we will have our velocity which is equal to our Reynolds number, okay, multiplied to our viscosity over the density and our inside diameter. No? So, alam natin yung inside diameter, di ba? Sulat na nga natin yung mga uh, alam nating value para hindi tayo malito. So, our inside diameter is equal to, kanina sinulat natin, 1.939 inches. 1.939 inches. Okay. And then, alam na rin natin yung viscosity natin. Our viscosity is equal to 2.1 centipoise. Now, hindi natin alam yung density pa ng um, 40%. 40% ethanol. Hindi pa natin alam. Pero alam natin yung specific gravity ng pure ethanol. 
which is, ano ba yung given natin ulit? Tingnan natin. Pure ethanol, uh, ito, specific gravity niya ay 0.79. Okay? So, 0.79. Okay. So, para magamit natin tong equation natin, dahil alam naman natin yung Reynolds number, viscosity, and inside diameter, kailangan makuha natin yung density ng 40% ethanol. No? So, how are we going to do that? So, density of 40% ethanol. So, in here, we're going to assume, uh, let's say we have 100 pounds okay, of 40% uh, ethanol. Okay, so dahil 40% yung ating uh, ethanol dito, so that means we have 40 pounds of pure ethanol, di ba? Pure ethanol yan. And then, we have 60 pounds of water. Okay, so, but since this is expressed in weight, we have to divide this to our density, no? So, yung density ng ating pure ethanol ang ilalagay natin dito. So, we have specific gravity of 0 0.79 times the density of water, which is 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. So, ganun din dito, no? But this is water, so we need to divide this to the density of water. So, specific gravity, one lang, of course. Then, we have 62.4 pounds per feet cube. Okay? So, therefore, makukuha na natin dyan yung density ng 40% ethanol. Alright. So, gamitin natin yung ating calculator. So, gamitin ko na lang muna or solve ko na lang muna yung denominator natin. Ano? Para naman... Uh, mas maging malinaw. So, we have 100 pounds sa ating numerator. And by the way, maka-cancel yung mga pounds natin dito. No? Kaya, ang magiging unit ng denominator natin is feet cube. No? So, solvin muna natin to We have uh, 40 uh, divided by 0.79 then divided by 62.4. So, we have 0 0.8114. Then plus, itong ating nasa right side. So, ginagawa ko lang ng ganito para makita natin guys. No? Okay, so 60 divided by 62.4. Para maging malinaw kung saan natin nakukuha yung mga values natin. So, we have 0 0.9615. Okay, so this will be in feet cube. So, okay, so kukuha na natin yung density ng 40% ethanol. So, we have here um, 100 divided by 0.8114 plus 0.9615. Okay, so we have our density as 56.405 pounds per cubic feet. No? So, okay, so now we can substitute this value sa nakuha nating equation kanina. No? So, the velocity is equal to the Reynolds number multiplied to our viscosity. Then, divided by our density and the inside diameter. No? So, substitute na natin. Our Reynolds number is 2,100. Multiplied to our viscosity, which is 2.1 centipoise. Okay, but we need to substitute that or we need to convert that, I mean, into pound per feet per second. So, no? So, for every 1 centipoise, we have 6.7197 times 10 to the negative 4 pound per feet per second. Okay. Then, divided by our density, 
So, ano nga uling density natin? 56.405 pounds per cubic feet times the inside diameter. Now, inside diameter natin uli is 1.939 inches. So, 1.939 inches. But, we need to convert that pala into feet, no? So, uh, medyo pagsay natin di kasya. Inch. So, for every 1 feet, we have 12 inch. Okay. So, check natin yung ating mga units uli. So, inches will be cancelled out. Okay, pounds will be cancelled out. Centipoise will be cancelled out. Para sa ating uh, feet. So, we have feet and feet here. And we have cubic feet here. So, may may iwang isang feet. So, therefore, ang magiging unit natin dito is feet per second. Diba? So, now we can determine yung velocity ng ating fluid. So, use again yung calculator natin. So, we have 2,100 times 2.1, then times 6.7197, then exponent negative 4, then divided by our density, 56.405, and divided by 1.5. 939 but we have 12 inches pa dito sa baba so we need to multiply that so times 12 uh, 1 0 0.3251 um, feet per second no? okay so this is our final answer here this is the fluid velocity when our Reynolds number is at 2,100. Okay? So, I hope guys, uh, nakatulong sa inyo itong ating lecture video for today. So, as you can see, hindi lang siya simpleng pagsusolve ng Reynolds number. Inapply natin yung mga previous na natutunan natin in how to use yung schedule number ng pipe natin in determining yung inside diameter and the inside cross-sectional area ng ating pipe. And then, ginamit din natin yung previous lecture video natin in how to find the viscosity of a liquid using yung table and graph na nakita natin sa unit operation of chemical engineering by McCabe and Smith and Perry's Chemical Engineers Handbook. So, this is all for now, guys. Thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.